Now in Oklahoma, the big race to watch and a big question to answer once the polls close. Who is going to be Oklahoma's next governor? The incumbent Republican Governor Kevin Stitt is going up against Democrat Joy Hoffmeister tonight. Tune is Oklahoma's Sharon Phillips is live at Stitt's watch party in Oklahoma City with the latest there. Sharon. Karen, we are live here at the Embassy Suites Hotel here in Oklahoma City where the GOP is expecting a really big night tonight. And if you take a look here behind me, you can see the stage is already set. The doors are expected to open up here this evening at 630. Governor Kevin Stitt is fighting for a second term. Before winning his first term, Stitt was a wealthy mortgage company owner and a political outsider. Out of the 77 counties in Oklahoma, he won 73 of them. Stitt campaigned on being an outsider who would work hard to make Oklahoma a top 10 state. Under his accomplishments, he touts a record level state savings account and turned budget deficits into record surpluses. He also says his administration was responsible for Oklahoma emerging quickly out of the pandemic and opening back up for business. Stitt says because of this, our economy was able to get back on track quickly and it helped keep our state's unemployment rate low. However, his opponents have spent millions attacking his school voucher plan and the way pandemic relief funds were spent, among other issues. Now, I did speak with a member of the governor's staff a little while ago. I asked him what time he would be arriving here. They told me they hoped that he will be here sometime between 5 and 6, and we will work to get an interview with him uh, before everything starts this evening. Reporting live in Oklahoma City, I'm Sharon Phillips, 2 News, Oklahoma. And 2 News anchor Naomi Kitt continues our live team coverage tonight. She's at the Oklahoma History Center. That's where the Democratic challenger, Joy Hoffmeister, is hosting her watch party tonight. Naomi, what are you seeing? Karen, so we are right outside of the Oklahoma History Center and right in these doors we're expecting dozens, maybe hundreds of people to show up here today for Joyce Hoffmeister's watch party. It's going to kick off at 630 in the next hour and a half. We're going to be able to go inside in about the next hour to be able to see that setup. But I want you to take a look at some of the video we were able to get last Thursday. This is when Joy Hoffmeister cast her ballot early at the Tulsa County Election Board. She told us after voting that there are several key issues that voters care about this election, education, health care, infrastructure for good jobs in our area. Prior to running for governor as a Democrat, Hoffmeister won two terms as a Republican for state superintendent. She switched parties last year in 2021 to run against Kevin Stitt in this election. Before she was state superintendent, she worked as a public school teacher and owned an after school program. It's been more than a decade since a Democrat has held the office of governor here in Oklahoma. When asked why it's time for a change. Here's what Hoffmeister had to say. You know, I'm an independent thinker. Uh, I'm on Team Oklahoma, just like um, most Oklahomans. We want to put people first, and this is about um, putting people over politics. So I'm not looking at labels, but I do believe that it is important that uh, someone like me, who's an independent thinker, aggressively moderate, uh, will say, meet me in the middle and let's get something done for the people of Oklahoma. And again, in the next hour, we will head inside the Oklahoma History Center to give you a look at this setup. We're expecting Joy Hoffmeister to arrive here at her watch party a little later this evening. For now, though, we'll be out here waiting for this party to start. Reporting live in Oklahoma City, I'm Naomi Kitt, 2 News, Oklahoma.